Welcome to the Orpheus training series. This is Matt Navarre. Orpheus is developed in a database program called FileMaker Pro and this lesson is going to be to cover some topics about some of the th unique things that, are, that make FileMaker great not only from a development standpoint from, from a user standpoint. So for example one of the things you notice in Orpheus is there's no save. So if you wanted to edit an email address for example and you typed in you know ja at test.com you notice that there's no button anywhere that says save, um, not even in the menus or anything. So basically to save this particular record you just hit the tab key or click into some gray area outside of where the field is. That's called committing the record and this, the changes that you make get submitted to the server right then um, so that if, uh, if FileMaker quit on your computer or if you lost internet connection or something happened that you would basically get um, saved to the point where you clicked your last uh, mouse click or or went back to the menu is another really good way to save. Another interesting thing about FileMaker is the concept of found sets. So for example if I wanted to find all the cases in Coos County I can do a search here for county and I'll put in Coos. That's going to give me a list when I click perform find here of all the cases within Coos County and I can sort these differently now I'll see here that I have 186 records. It also shows me how many break down between each different disease, so 181 for hep C. If I were to click on one of these cases, I could work with this case, I could update it, I could you know, go in here and say, oh, I discovered um, that the zip code is 97215, um, which makes this non coos County, but Portland delete the county here and it uh, automatically refreshes it and then the address will be wrong because that's the old Coos County address. I can put 1234 Northwest Maine and then save. So and then um, go ahead and complete the transfer. So I can do all that work and then when I come back to my list by clicking the list button here I still have the exact same set of cases that I had before and I can go down to the next one. Another really cool feature of FileMaker is there's several different little keyboard shortcuts for different things. So for example, if I wanted to go ahead and put the state completion date as today, I could just hit control dash and that pops in today's date. Of course, I also have this calendar icon I can click, which gives me a little widget to show the calendar and I can say, oh, it was actually the 19th and I can go ahead and fix that. Another really neat feature is um, if you wanted to do editing uh, multiple records, like if I was on this record here, um, I can click to the next record and it goes to the next record that was on my list and I can go back and I can see this is Bud and now here's Philip. Now if I hit the control dash key, that puts the same entry that I was on in that particular field in the last record that I was in. So sometimes that's pretty nice too if you're editing um, several records and making the same change in a lot of them. An important part about working with FileMaker is Windows, the Windows management. So sometimes when you're working on a case, for example if you click this Add Provider, a little window will pop up that you can move around. You can just close that window and it doesn't hurt anything. If you click this and if you click back to the case, it's smart enough to know that that window was already open and it just goes to the window that was already there. But you also have the ability to open a new window yourself just by going to the window menu and to new window. And that pops up a window that's named um, with a two at the end and you can open up another one of those if you want. Each of these windows has their own independent set of records that you're looking at. And so this is a really effective way to compare two cases side by side. Um, or if you have two cases for the same person, for example, or um, two different diseases that you're sort of comparing notes and you want to look at it, it's especially a good reason to have a large monitor. So once you have these individual windows, if I did a search in one of these other windows and say, I want to see everybody who has salmonella in this window, go ahead and perform a find. It'll actually have separate found sets between the two windows. So not only can I have two different individual records up, I can actually have two sets of records up, like two different reports I'm looking at. So this one here, if I sort this, shows me I have 79 Salmonella records. But over here I actually have 
uh, 180 something records from my original one. And then I can just close Windows and um, and it doesn't really cause any problems until you close the very very last window. So this one here is actually called Orpheus 3 but if I close this other one as long as I don't close this window I'm still in the application and all is good. Another important thing to look at is this concept called status area. So you see this little bar that sometimes pops up here. This is especially noticeable when you're in when you're doing a search but sometimes you also see it when you're looking at a list. It tells you how many records you have, whether you're sorted or not, and then sometimes there's additional things you can do like make records. In this case those are all grayed out. If I do a search, this has some really special use because up here we see new request, we see am I looking for a uh, matching records or am I going to omit a record. So for example this is really useful if I want to find all the salmonella cases, but I want to make a, I'll go to the advanced one and I'll make a new request, which by the way is exactly the same as clicking new request up here. And then this other one I say, I want to see those seminal cases except I want to omit Multnomah County. So I can go to the uh, the county right here, current county, Multnomah, and to omit that particular set of records I click this omit button up here. And then to review the different requests that you have, you can use this little widget here to scroll back to your record. So you can see the first record says Salmonella Include, and then I click the little right arrow, and the second record is Multnomah County Omit. And then if I go ahead and click Perform Find, that will run that particular search, which is pretty useful. So there are three modes that FileMaker works in. Browse mode, which is the mode that we're looking at right now, and that's where we edit data and view data. Search mode, which is what we get if we click on the little search thing here, and you can see that you're in search mode because the different window pops up here. And then the last mode is called preview mode. So if we run a report, for example, I'll choose this um, case by county report, maybe for Washington County. I want all diseases across all, maybe from uh, 1 1 of 09 until today. Now, that gives me, uh, this actually would be more useful to run for multiple counties. Here we only see it for one. But what is, what's important here is I see this thing um, up here, this, this changes. So now I have a few other options here like Save as Excel, Print, and Page Setup. And this is the bar that you get when you're in preview mode. This report only has one page, so I can't go from one page to another. Let's run a different report. Let's run a case line list and let's do the exact same information of all cases for Washington County. Now what I see is a pretty long report where my confirmed cases of Campy and but there's many pages of this report so I want to be able to go through from one page to the next and I can just click the right arrow that's here and, and go from one page to another. Also I can click print here and I can print and as we saw with found sets, sometimes you want to print a single record like if you're looking at case detail and sometimes you want to click all the records being browsed. So I'm going to click that and then go ahead and um, and print it out and it prints this report which is you know 32 pages. In this particular um, situation I have a preview application and I can see all my um, uh, what my report would look like if I print it using a PDF plugin. So that's basically the lesson for getting around FileMaker. Thanks for your time.